Welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Miss Management and today we're going to be diving into some cooking and restaurant management games. There are plenty of options in this genre that focus on different things like time management or dish creation. So I'm going to take you through these games and some of the differences about them. First up is Recipe for Disaster. It's an early access game, but set to be fully released in early August. It has some good staff management, but what I love most about this game is the recipe creator. Similar to a game called Chef, which we'll talk about a little bit later, you'll create your own recipes from a list of ingredients. What I found to be unique about this game though is that you not only choose the ingredients, but also the appliance used to prepare them and the order in which they're brought together to create the final dish. You won't be shown any stats on your recipes as you make them, but you'll rely on customer reviews. Although creating good menu items seems to be fairly easy, with a few adjustments. Staff management is still important though, and you'll need to assign employees to specific workstations and specialise their skills to increase efficiency in the kitchen. Having too many cooks, so to speak, is definitely a recipe for disaster. Next up is Cooking Simulator. Cooking Simulator is a pretty realistic looking simulation game played in first person, where you cook meals in an industrial kitchen. There are over 80 recipes and 120 ingredients in the base game, which might not sound like a whole lot for a game that looks this elaborate, but once you start learning to cook, you'll quickly realize that unlocking 80 recipes is no easy feat. Your kitchen is equipped with all kinds of utensils and appliances that you'll need to learn to use. In the career mode, you're the chef of a restaurant and will receive orders. Recipes will come up on the screen for you to follow, and you'll be judged on the final result as well as the time that it took. Things pick up more as your restaurant levels up, and you'll need to keep track of equipment that needs repairing. The controls can be really tricky to master and a little bit clunky, but personally I enjoyed the steep learning curve and comedic failures. You can also just cause havoc if that's your thing too. There are DLC options and a VR version of Cooking Simulator as well. Number 3 is Good Pizza, Great Pizza. Good Pizza Great Pizza is an adorable pizza making game where you interact with customers and create pizzas to their liking. Although it's a simple game, the unique ways in which customers order things is fun to figure out. Some people don't want cheese, some want half and half, and others want a specific number of slices. You'll need to pay close attention to what the customers order and make sure to ask for extra information when you need it. The art style is beautiful and your conversations with patrons are really amusing. I like the slow progression to unlock the different upgrades. As you progress, you'll be able to buy new ingredients, upgrade your appliances, and unlock other perks to make better pizzas more quickly. Using ingredients is what costs you money in Good Pizza Great Pizza, so be careful to create the correct pizzas and not waste ingredients. Number four is Cook Serve Delicious. Cook Serve Delicious is an incredibly hectic time management game where you prepare and serve food and drinks as customers come through your restaurant at a very fast pace. This game is best played with the keyboard shortcuts rather than your mouse as it allows you to serve customers quicker. You'll set a daily menu of items which have different combinations and methods of preparing. Customers also have their preferences on how they want it prepared. You'll have some pretty easy items to choose from when you're starting off, including items that only require adding sauce, but you'll quickly progress to more difficult items that can get very tricky to stay on top of. You'll unlock upgrade options to prepare new dishes, allowing you to create different menu combinations, which changes up the tasks that you'll need to do for that day. The menu items you choose affect the buzz around your restaurant through boosters and detractors, which will positively or negatively affect your business. As well as serving customers, you'll need to keep on top of your chores, which are also affected by detractors from menu items. These can include cleaning bathrooms or taking out your trash. Personally, I find Cook Serve Delicious to be really stressful, but it'd be great if you want a challenging and fast-paced time management game. Number 5 is Overcooked. Overcooked is more of a party or arcade game and best played with friends. You'll try to keep up with orders in kitchens laid out with different obstacles and hazards. Collect ingredients and process them correctly at different workstations to complete a meal, but make sure to be quick about it. As the clock counts down, you'll want to serve as many correct meals as possible, and the difficulty of kitchen layouts increases as you progress. In some laps, you'll need to travel back and forth between moving platforms or cross busy roads to get what you need, so there's plenty that can go wrong. 
You can toss ingredients over gaps, but you need to be careful not to throw them too far and definitely be careful not to throw any meals away by accident. Things going wrong is just part of Overcooked though, and it has been an incredibly fun and simultaneously frustrating game to play in my household. Number six is Chef. In Chef, the central focus is the recipe and menu creation, managing customer expectations, and expanding your franchise. There's not too much depth to the staff management, and you'll more want to focus on creating different dishes to expand your menu, catering to different demographics. To create new recipes, drag ingredients onto the board and adjust quantities, and add other ingredients to improve the stats and make a tasty, well-rounded meal. On the city map, you can promote your restaurant to different areas, which will affect the clientele, who expect different things. You can also choose new areas to rent and expand your franchise. Your staff work around the clock with no schedule and you don't design the actual building layout, but you do change the wall and floor patterns and decorate with furniture. I actually enjoy this realistic aspect of having to work your decor into a pre-designed rental space, which is what most bars and restaurants actually do. Number seven is Lemon Cake. Lemon Cake is a time management game where you'll prepare pastries for customers in your cafe. At first, your bakery cafe is abandoned and it's up to you to repair and rejuvenate it. You'll slowly unlock new recipes, repairs and upgrades. There's a cafe shop, a kitchen and a garden for you to look after. And in the garden, you can unlock plants and animals to produce ingredients for you. Although it's not particularly deep and it can get a little bit repetitive, I really like the research tree and it's a really charming game and great choice if you like cooking, crafting or time management games like Dynadash. Last on our list is Diner Bros. Diner Bros is a fun cooking and restaurant management game where you'll rush to serve orders before customers get too hungry and leave. It's sort of a meld between Diner Dash and Overcooked. Specific orders are placed and need to be prepared and served as quickly as possible. Preparing food in advance helps a lot. It can be played single player or local co-op with two to four players. In single player mode you can hire employees, but with the co-op mode you and your friends work as the staff, which makes it a little bit more like Overcooked. Um, but you also have to manage the customers and serve extra items like drinks and ice cream as well. As you earn money you'll upgrade your restaurant with new perks, food items, expanding the dining area and hiring staff. It won't take you too long to go through all the content, but definitely check it out if you're looking for a game to play with friends or something similar to Overcooked. Thank you so much for joining me for another management game video. I really appreciate everyone who comments and subscribes and I'm sorry I don't post more, but I do have a few more videos in the works, so uh, keep an eye out. Thank you again, this is Mismanagement out.